I'd love to just start off on your reflections, sort of like, uh, amazingly enough, obviously 20 years having passed since that tragic day, but also everything that's taken place. I mean, the, the Port Authority, obviously you were not running at the time, was at the center of so much, whether it was controlling the World Trade Center site and obviously the ports and the airports. Give me your thoughts. Well, 9-11 of 2001 is just an ex was a terrible event, 3,000 lives lost. Uh, 84 employees of the Port Authority died, including 37 Port Authority police officers who ran toward the danger to save the lives of others and wound up perishing. So that 9-11 is really embedded in the culture of the Port Authority as a symbol of not only a terrible event, but of recovery. Because in the 20 years, and obviously we're about to, to observe the 20th anniversary, uh, the Port Authority has stepped up to oversee the uh, rebirth of the uh, World Trade Center campus, the land on which the Twin Towers once stood. And what we believe is one of the best ways that we can remember and pay tribute to those who perished is to bring back this site more energetic, more vibrant uh, than it was 20 years ago. And we are completely committed to that to that goal. So if you look at the World Trade Center site today, there is the museum and memorial, which is obviously a sacred uh, tribute to those who died. Uh, the two pools observing or identifying where the tower stood and the memorials that surround it uh, are wonderful tributes. But around those, uh, there are now four uh, office towers, uh, pre-pandemic, 35 to 40,000 employees coming in every day. We are now committed to finishing the 16-acre site. We are finishing the, uh, the Greek church, uh, which is in the midst of rebuilding. It has made tremendous pra uh, progress. A uh, performing arts center to act as a cultural magnet for the surrounding area. And uh, we have a commitment now from a developer related to a residential tower, and there is one uh, remaining uh, office site. So, and we have also dedicated ourselves to activating the site, to have community events, everything from uh, movie nights to beer gardens to uh, community events. So we are right. really thrilled by the progress the site has made. Yeah, uh, but we find ourselves in a somewhat precarious position these days as well. It's been a year and a half since things have been things have been anywhere near normal in downtown Manhattan, or let alone many of the business districts around the country. Rick, I mean, what are your expectations for those towers that you were discussing? Are they ever going to be back to potentially full capacity? Obviously, many billions have been spent. There's some criticism as how much was spent on that train station. I think we're looking at there the College Robert train station. Incredible though it may be. Mm. What are your expectations for the Port Authority, given what you're seeing on the ground right now uh, in terms of traffic on the roads and obviously traffic going into those buildings? Well, we, we believe that uh, New York, New Jersey will recover. Uh, it's a question of when, not if. Uh, obviously, the, uh, the Delta variant has uh, created uncertainty. Uh, we see actually a vibrant interest, particularly in, in, the, uh, in, the, office, in the office buildings. Uh, the question is when uh, confidence will build to the point that office workers will come back. But we have no doubt uh, that, this, uh, that it will occur, and we look forward to that day.